Traversing thousands of miles through distinctive terrains and geographies, River Ganga is not just sacred but a lifeline to millions of Indians who live along its coast, thus ensuring its sanctity and untainted fluidity becomes an unstated responsibility of all citizens. And in order to achieve this objective, the government has been tirelessly endeavouring for the river's conservation, free it of all contamination and rejuvenation with its tributaries. In what could be termed as an integrated effort to accomplish its mission, the National Mission for Clean Ganga or NMCG has roped in nearly all stakeholders under its flagship program Namami Gange. As a part of that, uh, we are now uh, trying to uh, take up a few activities. One of them is the natural farming on either side, 10 kilometers or uh, either side of the river Ganga. In Uttarakhand, we are uh, focusing on that because uh, uh, we would, and we, uh, since we have already taken up a lot of STPs, we would like to have uh, the non-point uh, sources, pollution sources like uh, fertilizer from the agriculture and uh, other industries not to flow into the river. So as a part of that, uh, we want to encourage farmers to take up natural farming or organic farming, which means that uh, we would like to uh, discourage farmers from going for chemical fertilizers and go for natural fertilizers. To protect Ganga from toxic insecticides and pesticides, the government appealed to farmers of Uttarakhand to adopt an alternate farming method. And today, just in a few years, the dominant form of farming in the region is organic farming. These farmers in Chamoli district of the state are being trained to produce biofertilizers and biopesticides independently. In 2019 and 2020, we in our Gram Sabha Golim, प्लास्टिक के दिए गए पहले हम लोग जो है गोबरों को जगह-जगह फेंक देते थे नदी किनारे फेंक देते थे जिससे हमारा नदी भी दूषित हो रहा था और वर्तमान में हम उस खाद को जो है उस जैविक पिट में डाल रहे हैं जिससे कि हमको हमको अच्छा सा शुद्ध खाद मिल रहा है मिल रहा है जिसका प्रयोग हम खेतों में कर रहे हैं A number of such small yet significant initiatives like this have provided twofold dividends to the farmers The cost of production has come down to almost nil the health of the soil has improved, the crop yields are satisfactory and the prices that farmers get for organic crops are higher. And not only are the farmers creating and consuming organic produce, but they have also been incentivized under the Organic Hut initiative where the farmers can sell it without any hindrance. It has significantly reduced farmers' times and efforts they would invest in selling their crops. ऑर्गेनिक में जो है सबसे बड़ी बात यह है कि हमें जो है मार्केट रेट से हम जो है खुल खुला जो है 30 परसेंट ऊपर बेच सकते हैं मार्केट रेट से अपना सामान अभी सभी चीज मिलता है मतलब दालें हो गई सब्जी हो गई स्पाइसेस पल्सेस वगैरह ये सब हैं और जैसे आपका ये प्रोला का लाल चावल हो गया हर्षिल की राजमा होगी चक्राता की राजमा होगी जोशी मटकी होगी मुंशियारी की होगी सब चीज मिलती है ऑर्गेनिक हाट के बारे में तो 2015 से मैं जुड़ा हूं इसमें और उसके बाद यहां जब हाट चालू हुई तो उन्होंने बताया था कि वहां चालू किया हमने अपना सामान बेचना Another important component of Ganga rejuvenation is forestry interventions to enhance the productivity and diversity of the forests in headwater areas and along the river and its tributaries. A massive afforestation drive to preserve flora and the fauna, by and large protecting the Ganga Basin ecosystem, has been taken up along the banks of its Ganga stream. Since 2016 to the year 2021, 10,016 trees have been planted under the following districts. Apart from this, the soil conservation and water harvesting projects too have revived the biodiversity of the region. Increasing space of biodiversity parks at Ganga River front has also improved instrumental in preserving the health and ecosystem of River Ganga. The quality of the water of River Ganga was already satisfactory in the Uttarakhand region, but combination of these efforts has further improved it. 
People say the current stream of Ganga is the purest they have seen in their lives. The government on the other side says the job is not done as yet, as it has to restore the original nature of the Pious River, which can completely live up to the expectations of Uttarakhand's alternate identity Dev Bhumi.